Hey, I'm Owen Luke and this is my channel, Owen Says Go. This is the third video in a series of three. If you're interested in seeing more about the Cook Islands, be sure to check out the first and second video in the series. But for now, let's go to the Cross Island hike on Rarotonga to the Needle. We are back on Rarotonga for our last night of our stay on this holiday and we're staying at Little Polynesia which is quite close to uh, the rumours uh, luxury villas where we had previously. Very nice uh, setup here. Got access straight onto the beach and it looks like a good spot to do some snorkeling. There's a swimming pool just over there and uh, this is our villa for the night. Got a lovely bed, very nice. Shower, set up, bathroom, and a little outdoor shower. So, heading back to New Zealand tomorrow, but the holiday is not over yet. We can still explore a little bit more, and we might even go climb the needle tomorrow before we get a nice flight. Be cool, be cool! <laughs> Yikes, that is what I get for messing with the local wildlife. <laughs> that mother chicken <laughs> was not happy with me trying to film this show. No paparazzi. Sheesh! <laughs> Thanks for having my back. He was ready to fight it. <laughs> All right, we are heading off on the cross island track to see the needle. Uh, accounts vary on the distance and how much time you need, but it's probably like a two to four hour hike, depending on how fast you walk, and about six k's, but quite a lot of elevation in there. So we've left it quite late on the day today. It's already uh, four o'clock. Yep. Um, do it in the cool. Yes, so <laughs> we're heading off at a brisk pace and we'll see how we go. It's very nice at the moment. Or you're allowed pasture. You have to answer this guy's three riddles. <laughs> Be cool, guy. Be cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm doo, 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 doo. He's fine. Oh, and here's the whole family. Hey, fellas. Um, What's up? Just chewing the cud, huh? The jungle track begins. Apparently, you don't want to do this walk if it's been raining, but there's our markers. But it has been dry, so we should be good. And uh, apparently there's a lot of stepping over tree roots, so... Wear your shoes. Yes, we are wearing proper shoes today, for once. Didn't try and do this in jandals. Uh, yeah, jeepers, and the moment you step into this jungle, it is uh, thick. You can see you wouldn't, if you weren't on the path, you wouldn't be able to make any progress through here. <laughs> Oh shit! Watch out, slipper it. <laughs> First little stream. <laughs> like New Zealand, Rarotonga has no snakes, so that's always uh, reassuring when you're making your way through dense bush like this. Uh, just a couple of lizards so far, plus goats, angry chickens. A cat. Haven't seen any dogs today, but there are lots of dogs on the island. Okay, the climbing begins. I'm already starting to sweat. Something very Jurassic Parky about it. Got a little scramble up here, and then through that tree, out into the sun, almost at the top. Made it to the signpost. 
Beautiful yellow eye. Alright, so only half an hour from the car park, we've made it to the needle. Uh, man, and it's a stunning sight. I'll see it pop out in a second. There it is. And there's the view back down to town. So, don't go further than this. But I'm getting mixed messages because they also put a little chain. Oh man, that's a little bit scary, but definitely going to be worth doing. This is the end of the road. Don't go past there. <laughs> Woo, you can see Man, both, coasts. both coasts. Definitely recommend this walk, guys. Uh, spectacular views and a good sense of achievement. Man. Beautiful viewpoint from up here. Uh, slightly vertigo inducing. And a little bit of a scramble to get up here, but there are some ropes and chains to help you. Not too difficult. I think if you've got a moderate level of fitness, you'll be fine. And uh, yeah, I definitely recommend doing this when you're in Rarotonga. It's a lot of fun and the views are epic. <laughs> Just don't fall off the edge. <laughs> Got a couple of options here, but we're gonna follow the one that says Papua Road, which is pointing that way. I think that looks like a good route down. It looks like this route and that route join up again later on, but this one seems to be the uh, the, the one to go with. We have no idea. These beautiful <laughs> flowers just on the side yeah, of the path. Just... Yeah. Short way down that track, you get this great view looking back uh, at where we just were. Pretty spectacular. Boys travel with some peanut slabs. <laughs> Full of energy. Mm -hmm. Uh, the later section of this track follows a lovely little jungle stream that winds its way down towards the ocean. Beautiful clean water. There's an enormous one. There's one here as well. Oh, oh. oh there's, oh, yes. Yeah. Kura. Kura. Like fresh, fresh water um, shrimp. shrimp, yeah. Oh, did we eat them at Amsfield? We did. <laughs> Need to hold this uh, GoPro in my mouth. <laughs> ah, not such a bad one, actually. Looks like we've made it out in one piece. And it only took two hours and 20, probably two hours walking, 20 minutes at the needle. And I think we are now at the waterfall. Uh, take a team selfie, turn around and go back down. <laughs> Let's see, oh yeah, here we go. Here's the waterfall, just up the road. <laughs> Not, uh, not too much to look at this waterfall. Might be better at different times of the year, but my advice would be if you want to have a swim, 
there's lots of delightful little swimming holes on your way down that would be much better this place is a little bit muddy not as attractive uh but yeah that's the yeah. cross island track did it we did it <laughs> owen says go just a short walk out of about a k i think and then we'll be back to wigmore's where we'll have an ice cream hooray and a coconut and a coconut yes we've discovered the spca hello pops hello hello hey how you guys doing huh oh no pops <laughs> Shame. Who wants a dog? Come on, guys. <laughs> Give generously. <laughs> okay, we're back at the main road, walking past the ruins of what was going to be the Sheraton Rarotonga. This is a project that was abandoned at some point. Yeah, kind of a weird thing to see. There's this big complex that was being built and like probably 90% done and it's been abandoned for several years. If you see the Sheraton, then you know you're at the <laughs> SPCA end of the track. So we walked the needle from north the, to south. North to south, finishing at the SPCA side. Um, and yeah, get a car if you can to drop you off at the parking lot at the start. Otherwise, it's about 2Ks from town before you start on the walk itself. We made it down just in time for sunset. Last day on Raro and we've decided to take the bus, which has two versions, the clockwise and the anti-clockwise. It took us 40 minutes of waiting before we got one, so you're probably better off getting a car, but possibly taking a taxi. But for sixteen dollars per person, you can get a multi-day, multi-use pass with ten bus rides. So if you're here for longer, it might be worth it. If you want to save some money, or you don't want to bother hiring a car. Doesn't feel quite like you're on a tropical island holiday until you have your first sip of coconut juice. <laughs> what are you? That voice. That's going in the blooper reel. <laughs> uh.